What's up guys? It's kind of here again back with another deck profile. Today I have a deck that keeps coming back up on the channel and it, and it vanishes. It comes back, it vanishes. But I love the deck. It's my first clan that I picked up. I know you guys see on the map. I love giant robots, but this is actually the first clan I picked up because I absolutely didn't want to play Kagura. And I didn't want to play Royals and I didn't want to play Royal Think Tank. Um, I actually would have been a starting Nova player, um, but things happen. That's for a different story. So, Spike Brothers, guys. I've got the Spike Brothers. As you can see, I've got the cool swag sleeves with the overseas protector, my boy Kyo here. So, without any other introductions or anything in the way, let's show you what I'm working with top down. We've got Break Ride, Frozen uh, Bloody Ogre, along with Bad End Dragger. As you guys know, I've always told you that this card carry, has carried and I guess continues to carry the clan. I don't care what anyone says. This card has put in the absolute finest work. And when this card was introduced, oh the plays. I don't think these cards need any introductions or explaining because you've all seen it. Next for my grade 2 lineup. The newest addition to the deck. Uh, three Wink Killer Miseries. Now, the reason why I like her is because she is an alternative Frozen Ogre. And I love it. So if one of these ends up in a damage zone or in the saw that I'm not able to put, that I can't get out, the wink gives me the extra attack. So primarily on the break ride legion turn, it's ogre, 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 because one of them is going to be paired with uh, bloody. Ogre, 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 that's three counter blasts into wink, four counter blasts into one of my silver blazes. So that's one, two, three, four, five attacks. Not really, and there's probably another side that makes six, and the Vanguard makes seven, and one of my tech cards makes eight. Yes, I said it, tech cards. So I'm primarily gonna be getting eight, eight attacks on my end turn. Now, there are some decks that can block 24 three times. <laughs> And that's fine and dandy, but when it comes to this, that's when the that's when the pain starts kicking in. So these are my choices. This one I'll explain it to you guys. It's cell blast one when my vanguard is in Legion. Uh, it gets plus 10k to the end turn and shuffle it back into deck. Frozen Ogle, it's a Legion mate. Uh, for vanguards in Legion, when it attacks, counter blast one, throw it into the soul. Search my library for a card. Put it on the uh, put it on the rear guard. Wink. When she attack and she's boosted, counter blast one, throw something into into the soul as a G break, uh, something something that's not her from your deck to the field, and it gets plus five k. So as you can see, guys, I'm not playing around. Grade ones. This is fun. Two stride enablers. And you're probably asking why Stride Enablers. I'll tell you why. Because I'm running Bad and Dragger, and with the Stride, I'm running I'm running the Stride, so I want to be able to get the break right so I can have a mini push turn on my uh, on one of my phases. Next, I'm running four Stride Enablers, because sometimes you need to get there. I'm running four of the G Perfect Guards, because I'm real. And I'm running for Reckless Express because it's all, I'm running the Reckless Express because I have a, a tech card at one. Also, it's a 12k attacker when I soul blast. And also, in the event that I have to ride a frozen ogle, ogre, um, when I'm at grade three, I'm probably going to I, I'm going to play one of these just so I can pull out the ogre because I don't want the ogre in a soul because that means one less attack for my loops and we can't have that. I need I need all my ogres. 
So there, there is that. For my trigger lineups and then my starters. This one, you guys are, oh, he's probably running 12 crit because they finally can run 12 crit. No. I'm running six, de uh, six crits, six draws, and four heals. Now, you're probably asking why that number. Uh, easy, because I don't kill the, I don't really kill my opponents through crits. They help. But I don't. That's not how I win. <laughs> I kill them through sheer attacks. I don't. I don't need. I don't need the crit. The crits help. Don't get me wrong. The crits will help me get to where I need to get to. That's why I'm running six. Um, but the draws because I actually do need attackers in this deck, and I need. I actually need to get frozen. I need to get frozen ogre in my hand for when I break ride. So. I'm running six as a, a way to ensure that I get all the card pieces in my hand in order to uh, kill my opponent. Now you've been, now you may have noticed by doing the numbers that then uh, I'm off by a card. I'm running two starters, but technically it's one starter and one tech card. I'm running one mecha trainer uh, as my starter because mecha trainer is OG and it handles businesses, but I'm running mecha analyzer uh, as in that last card. Now you're probably wondering, why that last card? Well, I usually don't have a card behind uh, my Vanguard when I go for my final attack with the lead, uh, when I Legion. So this is usually standing behind my Vanguard. And when my Frozen, when my Silver Blaze attacks, if I can't kill my opponent at that time, uh, this one will end up just going into the soul. And the Reckless Express that's sitting behind uh, one of my Rearguards that is tapped. I'm gonna send that out, bring it back in to attack. This is real. This card's such a good tech card. So you put it into soul. When your other rear guard is put into your deck, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one of your other rear guards, bind it face up, then call. Uh, then you call that unit from the bind zone to an open rear guard, and it gets 3k. So my first, my reckless express is sitting in the back. Bind it, comes back, gets 3k, gets 5k because it's in Legion when it attacks, gets 10k because of the break ride, and gets another 5k from soul blasting. Math. Math. Stride units. Uh, I normally said that this like it didn't matter what my stride units were, because my end goal will still be break ride. So. 6 G Guardians, 4 of the Cheer Girl, 1 Dismal, 1 Screw. Two Dirty Picaro, 2 Tanks, 2 Bruces, uh, 4 uh, Divine Hands, good end dragger. Uh, let's see, six. Eight. So I have fourteen strides. So this, the strides aren't really that important because I'm trying to break right. So I'll stride at most once, just to, I mean, just to close the gap. Because again, my opponent needs to be at four comfortably for me to kill them. I can do it at three, but I've usually get, that's usually like kind of iffy. Um, so four is the magic number that I want my opponent at before I go try to break right and kill them. You'll see me go into this once if I'm on good and dragger or bad and dragger. If I'm on frozen ogle and things are a bloody ogre and things are extremely bad, that's when I play the stride game. And try to kill them, but if we're being honest, I got two bursts, two Picaro, and two tanks. I don't really think I'm killing them. Uh, not at all. I don't. I don't really think I'm killing them. If I'm uh, if I don't end up on bad end, they probably would have won. And that's for that deck, guys. I'll catch you later.